50 Weirdest Gaming Facts Sonic is one of the most popular video game characters, but did you know his first appearance wasn't even in his own game? He was first introduced as an air freshener in Radmobile over 30 years ago. And we all know how expensive collector's editions are, you can spend hundreds just for a statue, but in Dying Light, that statue is an Oscar! When the game came out, they offered the Spotlight Edition, which gave you professional acting lessons, off-road driving classes, along with VIP tickets for Dying Light the Movie! Of course, the main feature was that you were a supporting role, and you could even be the voice of Kyle in game, all for the low price of $10 million. FIFA and Gran Turismo are some of the biggest sports franchises out there, so naturally, there's been some weird things in the past. Well, it turns out the copies they used to sell would come with a scratch and sniff sticker that actually smelled like a soccer field or a racetrack. And everyone's at Fortnite nowadays, but the strangest cameo happened years ago. All over the streets and screens of South Korea, Chris Pratt started to show up on advertisements, and he's not even in the game. If you're wondering how much work goes into modern games, Arkham Knight is a prime example. Turns out Batman's cape alone took two years of work. One developer spent tens of thousands of hours on 700 different animations. Well, luckily, some decisions are scrapped before release, like how in God of War, Atreus was meant to be bald. They wanted him to look more like Kratos, but you can see why this didn't happen. If you grew up on the Ratchet and Clank games, you probably didn't pay attention to their titles. Otherwise, you would have figured out they're all innuendos, like Going Commando, Quest for Booty, or my personal favorite, Up Your Arsenal. Back in 2011, to celebrate the release of Skyrim, Bethesda challenged anyone born on 11.11 to name their kid Dovahkiin, not expecting people to actually do it. Well, of course, a couple rose to the challenge, and as a result, they won free Bethesda games for life. Gaming wouldn't be where it is without Grand Theft Auto. It's the most popular video game of all time, but what if it never happened? A long time ago, we had a close call, because GTA was supposed to be a racing game called Race and Chase. A glitch made police cars attack the player, and the beta testers loved it so much, causing Rockstar to change the entire concept. Next time you wish bugs didn't exist, just remember some of them made history, like in Devil May Cry. The devs were working on a different game called Onimusha Warlords, and here they discovered a glitch that caused the enemies to float. They actually loved the idea and put it in a DMC. A racing game that made the worst decision of all time is Burnout 2. I don't know why anyone would approve this, but on the day of release, the studio promised to cover the speeding tickets of anyone who was caught. Well, the UK government had to step in, leaving the devs in serious trouble. Nintendo has a family-friendly reputation, but back in the day, things were very different. Kirby used to smoke cigarettes, read dirty magazines, and even curse. Another character that was changed is Kratos. He's iconic for his red tattoos, but when coming up with the design, the devs originally had them as blue. The only reason they were changed is because he looked like the Barbarian from Diablo. And so by now, most Sonic fans know that he's notorious for not being able to swim, but no one knows why. I mean, we've all asked ourselves, is it because hedgehogs can't swim in real life? Well, they can. Well, the devs didn't know that, they just assumed they couldn't, and it wasn't until years later they found out otherwise. By then, it was too late to give Sonic swimming lessons. Among Us is a worldwide phenomenon, but it was originally called something else. Imagine loading up and seeing Space Mafia instead, it just doesn't feel right. The gameplay involved constantly doing tasks to prevent imposters from winning, it was apparently super sweaty. If GTA 5 feels like an insanely accurate portrayal of LA, that's cause Rockstar went to extreme lengths to get it right. All the gang members you see walking around Los Santos are voiced by real life gangsters. One had literally gotten out of prison the day before filming. They didn't want goofy LA voice actors, and when they handed the script to the gang members, they threw the script on the floor and did their own thing instead. After Mario Party came out on Nintendo 64, 90 people complained to the New York State Attorney's Office that they kept getting friction burns from playing, and they ended up suing Nintendo. After it was settled out of court, Nintendo of America were forced to offer gloves to every household that bought the game. In Fallout 3, there's a weapon called the Fat Man, and when you fire it, it sounds like this. Well, did you know the ding is actually taken straight from the real lunch bell at Bethesda's offices? In 2019, a world record was broken after someone sold a copy of the original Mario Bros for $100,000. It is the only known sticker seal copy in the world. Five Nights at Freddy's is the most famous horror game of all time, and it only existed because Scott Cawthon was roasted for making bad games. He released a children's game called Chipper and Sons, and people laughed at the character design, calling it a scary animatronic. Let's just say he turned his weaknesses into 
strengths. World of Warcraft, the starting area is full of low level enemies, encouraging you to explore the world to rank up. Of course, one player said, nope, I'm staying right here, and they maxed out their character just from killing low level enemies, mining and picking herbs. It is one of the hardest grinds out there, taking him 173 excruciating days. You can play as Marvel characters in a ton of games, but the first time one ever appeared was a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, because of course it was, and yeah, you can skate around as Spider-Man. There's two things that'll never break, it's a Nokia phone and your old Game Boy. If you want a proof of how ridiculously strong these are, a medic in the Gulf War had his very own survive a bombing. Nintendo thought it was a lost cause when it was sent in for repair, only for them to put in a game cartridge and it worked fine. Clearly Nintendo are good at safety, and that's why they banned their most famous employee from biking to work. Miyamoto, the creator of Mario, used to bike there until they stepped in and said, it was too dangerous, he's way too valuable to risk it. Minecraft is the biggest game on the planet, yet the first version of it only took six days to make. Atari is a name you could only associate with retro games and arcades because they really fell off in the 90s. Well, that is all thanks to one of their worst performing titles in gaming history, E.T. There's a rumor that this sold so badly, Atari had to go into the desert and bury millions of game cartridges. It was just a myth for a long time until journalists spent years tracking it down and excavating the site. This pit of games is worth $108,000. One of the best Elden Ring players in the world is Miss Mika. She has pulled off insane runs, like when she beat two copies of Elden Ring at the same time, one with a controller and one with a dance mat. Come on, yes! <laughs> If you're wondering why Nathan Drake is so handsome, it's because his original design was crazy. Naughty Dog originally based him on Johnny Knoxville from Jackass, but they thought it felt too goofy and mixed his design with Nathan Fillion. Now this is one of the more understandable facts, but in Japan, one of the most famous moments in Fallout 3 is completely missing. You could choose to detonate a nuclear bomb destroying the town of Megaton, but uh, Japan does censor this for obvious reasons. Steve Downs has been the voice of Master Chief for decades, but he's been a radio host for even longer, so anyone who lived in California could tune into the radio and hear Master Chief presenting every night. The salute to the women warriors of rock comes to a close. By the way, if you're wondering why it's called Super Mario Brothers, yeah, you guessed it, their last name is Mario. It's been a rumor for a long time, but in 2015, Miyamoto confirmed to fans in Japan that their names are Luigi Mario and Mario Mario. One of the coolest facts about Counter-Strike is that it was made by a fan of Half-Life. He turned this single-player story game into a multiplayer FPS mod, and Valve loved it. Immediately, they knocked down his door and bought the rights to it, turning Counter-Strike into a massive franchise. A similar thing happened to Prince of Persia. This was one of Ubisoft's biggest series at the time, so they decided to make a spin-off before realizing it was too good it should be its own original game. Say hello to Assassin's Creed. Speaking of origin stories, during the making of the first Metal Gear Solid, Kojima struggled to map out the levels and used Lego bricks to design them. His family was worried that he spent too much time away from home and were horrified to learn that he was playing with Legos all day, not realizing it was for Metal Gear. Going back even further, Pac-Man was originally named something else, Puckman. But when it came to releasing him in the USA, the devs were scared of vandals turning the P into an F, so they called him Pac-Man. Nintendo has the potential to do hilarious things sometimes, especially when you see the ideas that get rejected. In the early 2000s, they were promoting the release of Super Mario Strikers, and this was one of the ads. Ironically, they didn't have the balls to go through with it. One of the funniest things they've done, though, is in the Japanese version of Mario Kart. After winning, Peach will pull out a wine bottle and get drunk. Death Stranding involves a lot of hiking. People basically just call it a walking simulator. So, of course, one YouTuber took that literally. He turned his treadmill into a PS4 controller and used it to exercise while playing. In Uncharted 3, Naughty Dog wanted to tease their next game, so they put a newspaper about zombies on the floor. Now, whenever it played The Last of Us, they knew the devs loved to put secrets in newspapers, only for them to find one about an Uncharted movie starring Justin Bieber as Nathan Drake. I mean, they weren't far off. In Cyberpunk 2077, someone made a mod that lets you sleep with Johnny Silverhand, aka Keanu Reeves. The developers were not impressed and shut it down pretty quickly, but when Keanu was asked about it, he found it hilarious. Another video game actor is Roger Clark, who is known for playing Arthur Morgan in Red Dead 2. Thing is, he also played over two dozen characters in the game, and one day, Mary's actor was unavailable to do motion capture. So, Roger had to step in and record a scene where she mourns Arthur Morgan's grave. Yeah, he had to mourn his own character. In the handbook for Super Mario, 
Mario Kart, Nintendo encouraged players to do something that was forbidden. There's nothing worse than playing split screen and your friend cheats by looking at your POV, but Nintendo recommended that you do this to get an advantage in the manual. And it turns out Silent Hill, despite being known for its fog, wasn't supposed to have it this way. The entire series is famous for this foggy atmosphere, yet the developers only added it because the hardware at the time couldn't load everything in properly. And in 2019, a legendary producer of Pokemon revealed that one of their programmers had a huge appetite. He was constantly sleeping and eating, so around the office they nicknamed him Kabi, the Japanese name for Kirby. Well, they loved it so much, they designed Snorlax, and his Japanese name is Kabigon, a tribute to the employee. That reminds me of how Chain Chomps and Mario are based on a dog that chased Miyamoto as a kid. It would be on a leash and try to run to him, which is why they acted just like that. Last year, Nintendo was about to reveal the gameplay and title for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, but then Queen Elizabeth died, and rumors started to circulate that the Direct had been postponed. After five days, they dropped the announcement, but Nintendo UK remained silent. You had to go to the American YouTube channel to watch it, and it wasn't until a month later that the UK finally started promoting the game. On the topic of the Queen, it's no surprise Nintendo wanted to pay respect to her, because she had a huge influence on them. In 2009, they made a 24 karat gold Wii and sent it to Buckingham Palace to promote big family games. And I mean, there's no family bigger than the Royals. But even a royal wedding isn't as rare as this one in Tokyo. During that same year, a man fell in love with Nate from Love Plus. He called her his dream woman, and I kid you not, literally married her and live streamed it. One of my favorite things to do is look at voice actors and see what else they do. Trust me, you get shocking results sometimes. Carolyn Lawrence is the voice actor for Ashley in Resident Evil 4, a pretty iconic role, but she also voices Sandy and SpongeBob. Hope you enjoyed the weird gaming facts. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on T5G.